How to set up payments. In the Oscar Provider Portal, you can set up the way your organization prefers to get paid for processed claims. It's a multi-step process, and in this video, we'll guide you to add a bank account, enroll in ACH, and enroll in ERA, so you can receive a digital explanation of payments, or EOP. Plus, we'll give you a couple of quick tips. Don't feel like you have to watch everything. You're free to skip to whatever section you need. Let's go. Before we start, check if your managed payments permissions are enabled. Only the organization administrator can grant you that access. Reach out to them if you don't see it active in your profile. Add a bank account. Go to Manage Payments on the home page. You can also go there from this menu. Select Add Bank Account. In the New Bank Account window, fill in the form with your details. Pay close attention to your routing and account numbers and make sure they're correct. Once you add a bank account, give us three to five business days to make two small deposits into the account. Check your balance until you see the deposits. Then, come back to this section and plug them into the form. Account verification status. When we verify your account, your status should say connected. You could also see pending if it's still in process. Or it could show error. To avoid the error message, just make sure you plug in the correct deposit amounts into the verification form. For security reasons, we only allow you three chances to get this right. If there is an issue past that, we have some instructions for that in PDFs under the portal's help section. By the way, if your bank asks about Oscar's ACH number or origin IDs, there's a PDF for that too. Enrolling in ACH. We ask you to enroll in ACH before ERA to make sure we link all your accounts correctly. To enroll in ACH once you've set up a bank account, go to Manage Payments and select New ACH Enrollment. There are three steps. You'll tell us about the provider, add information about the financial institution, and submit the information. Step one, tell us about the provider. First, fill in the details about the provider, hospital system, or entity you're enrolling, and the main contact for your organization. We'll reach out to this person if anything comes up. Step two, add information about the financial institution. Here, you can see a summary of where and how your payments are issued. Select the bank account from the drop-down menu to get ACH payments. Choose if you'd like us to issue payments group by tax ID or MPI associated with your organization. If you select MPI, fill in the billing MPIs affiliated with your organization. Step three, submission info. Select from new enrollment, change enrollment, cancel enrollment, and hit submit. Quick tips. Here are some really useful things to know about the ACH and ERA process. Making edits to ACH enrollment. You'll need to add all the TINs or MPIs to the ACH enrollment before enrolling in ERA. Once an ACH enrollment is connected to an ERA enrollment, you can't edit those numbers. So if you see a great delete this account button, you'll need to replace that account with another one before deleting it. You can also make updates to the provider contact information. If you need to edit financial institution information, you can make updates to the bank account that will receive the payments. You can also add more TINs or MPIs in this section. And with submission information, you can choose to change enrollment or cancel enrollment. Just give us an updated signature so we can authorize the changes. Changing groupings. To change the payment groupings from TIN to NPI or vice versa, you'll need to cancel the enrollment and start a new one. You can't change the grouping by editing an enrollment. You'll need to cancel the enrollment in the submission information page. Remember, once an ECH enrollment has a connected ERA enrollment, the TINs and NPIs can't be changed. So make sure you double check this before you enroll in ERA. If you wanna make changes after you've enrolled in ERA, you'll need to cancel both enrollments and start a new form. Enrolling in ERA. Let's set up the ERA. It's also known as the 835 and it lets your office receive EOPs right into your billing software instead of getting them in the mail. Just follow these four steps. Tell us about the provider, add financial institution details, submit the information, and complete the ERA. ERA Enrollment Steps. Step one, tell us about the provider. Go to the ACH Enrollment. Click Enroll in ERA. It'll fill in the right details from your ACH form, but you can make updates to the provider contact information. Step two, financial institution information. 
Take time to review the aggregation of remittance data section to make sure everything looks good. Quick tip, updating the preference for aggregation of remittance data. This info is tied directly to the account enrolled in ACH. If you'd like to change it, delete the ERA, update your ACH, and resubmit the ERA. Just remember, you'll also need to resubmit the Change Healthcare Enrollment form to your clearinghouse. Step three, submitting information. Here, select the reason for submitting the form and provide an electronic signature. Step four, completing ERA. You're almost done. Complete the ERA enrollment form and share the Change Healthcare enrollment form with your clearinghouse. If you need anything adjusted on the Change Healthcare site, you can reach out to them directly. Then come back to this details page to finish the ERA enrollment process. Click Complete Application and check the box to confirm enrollment with the clearinghouse. Then we can improve things on our end. Okay, that was a lot of info, but you're now an expert in setting up payments with Oscar. High five.